Snake plants are one of the few plants that convert carbon dioxide into oxygen during the night, while many other plants do it in the daytime. This quality makes it an ideal plant for bedroom decor. Today I am going to talk about snake plants. They are easy, adaptable and beautiful. I will share the most reliable tips to getting your snake plants to grow faster and healthier. They are pretty unique and one of the easiest plants to take care of. I have had snake plants in almost every room in my home because they are tolerant and thrive in various lightning conditions. And they are also one of the best air purifying plants that you must have. They release lots of oxygen and add moisture to the air which lessen the impact of airborne allergies like dust. The best part as I shared earlier, they mostly create oxygen at night. Having snake plant in your home provides many benefits that you are sure to appreciate. Talking about its care, I will focus on two main things which are very important for this plant to grow and survive. The first is watering. Snake plants are very hardy plants but when it comes to watering you need to be careful because from my experience wrong watering schedule can harm this plant. Remember snake plants are succulents. They store water in their rhizome and thick leaves so they don't need to be watered frequently. As the leaves store water they can go couple of weeks without water. I water my plants once in 10 to 12 days. If you forget to water your plant once or twice, it's totally fine. Generally, dull, wrinkled, droopy leaves are the sign of underwatering. But don't worry, they are very forgiving plant. You can easily save your plant at this stage by giving them a good drink. When you water this plant, water it slowly, thoroughly and make sure that all parts of the root ball are saturated well because after this watering we are going to water it again after 10 to 12 days also make sure extra water drains out from the pot in snake plant over watering can cause serious bacterial issue plant root sitting in water will start rotting and it will cut down nutrient supply to the other parts of the plant yellow soft and bending leaves are common sign of over watering if this begins to happen Remove the damaged leaves immediately and let the soil dry out completely before watering it again. And in worst case, if the roots are badly damaged, remove the plant from its pot and cut off the soft, mushy damaged roots and report your plant in new fresh soil to save it. On the opposite end of the spectrum, underwatering can also cause leaves to droop. Water fills the plant cell in the leaves and keep them strong and upright. Without water, the leaves begin to thin out and can't hold themselves anymore and they slowly fall down. To fix this issue, adjust and follow your watering schedule regularly. Only water them when the soil has dried out for several days. Remember, these plants prefer underwatering to overwatering. After watering, second essential thing is use of proper potting mix like succulent, snake plant love, chunky potting mix containing pumice, perlite or sand to provide the drainage they need. You can use ready-made potting mix especially made for succulents or if you are preparing your own potting mix then add good amount of perlite or river sand to your garden soil. Remember, heavy compact soil is the snake plant's biggest enemy so use chunky well-draining soil. I prefer to use 50% perlite, 40% garden soil and remaining 10% compost. Avoid using cocoa peat because it retains moisture in soil. While little compost is good but avoid adding too much. Compost tend to hold moisture which can create risk for the snake plant's root ball. This soil mix avoid water saturation in soil and promote good air circulation around the roots and these plants have rhizome root system which store water and new shoots and babies come out from these rhizomes so use well draining chunky potting mix and water only when necessary remember when you water your snake plant it should be absorbed by the soil immediately it should not be sitting on the soil layer 
so from my experience for this plant use of proper amount of water and chunky potting mix is very important to keep this plant alive the next important thing is after buying this plant from the nursery there is absolutely no need to repot immediately repotting is not something that should be done frequently or without consideration it can be stressful for your plants so keep your plant in nursery pot as it is and when it become root bound or not growing at all and the plant just look far too big and unstable in the current pot then you can consider repotting your snake plant the reason for repotting is to give the plant additional space to grow and provide new fresh nutrient rich soil i have made special video on snake plant repotting and after care tips every step that you need to follow while repotting a snake plant you can check out that video for repotting detail what is the best pot for snake plant because snake plants prefer well draining potting mix and they are prone to root rot so using planter with sufficient drainage holes is very important from my experience snake plants can thrive in pretty much any planter with sufficient drainage holes but if you use terracotta pot it would be great because they absorb water more quickly compared to plastic or ceramic pots and keep good air circulation in soil Generally dwarf varieties will do well in smaller pots like this but for tall varieties you need to use a larger and deeper pot otherwise leaves will start to fall like this i need to transfer this plant in deeper pot next comes lightning the best reason to have snake plant is that it can handle different light conditions like champion you can keep this plant almost anywhere in your home they are not demanding at all and very hardy despite negligence they will grow steadily they tolerate low to bright indirect light very well but i would suggest keeping them in medium to bright light area for faster growth this area you can consider as well lit area or bright light area because whole day this place get good amount of light due to this window i keep this plant here in bright light area and i have seen a lot of new shoot and fast growth in this plant compared to this one it has been kept in low lit area 8 to 9 feet away from the window in this corner i have not seen much growth in this plant but it is growing steadily slowly but for faster growth you can keep your snake plant in bright in direct light Snake plants tolerate low light well but extreme dark corners can have adverse effect on these plants. All plants need sunlight to make their food or for photosynthesis to keep them alive. When snake plants don't get enough light they will begin to stretch towards the nearest light source which causes extra long narrow and thin leaves. If you are observing such leaves in your snake plant then move your plant towards the brighter area. Talking about the temperature requirement the ideal range is between 17 to 30 degrees celsius they can tolerate fluctuating temperature but not extreme cold particularly temperature below 12 degrees celsius because they are native to rocky dry habitat in tropical africa about humidity average room humidity work well for them speaking about nutrition snake plant grow slowly and don't need much fertilizer but you can encourage new growth and faster growth by adding fertilizer the mild and steady dose of compost is perfect way to get this plant the nutrition they need mix it in with the soil when you pot your plant and then add thin layer of compost every year during the early spring you can also use any nitrogen rich fertilizer like seaweed solution once in 3 to 4 months for overall its greenness and new leaf production I feed them 3 times in a year first in June during the monsoon season and then in October before the winter starts and now in spring talking about propagation you can propagate snake plant either by cutting or by division method for cutting method you need to take any mature leaf from the base of the plant and you can put it directly into the soil mix or in water 
but in water method there are high chances of rotting if you forget to change the water to avoid rotting you need to change the water weekly and allow the cutting to callus over for 3 to 4 days before placing it in the water if this step is skipped there is much higher probability that the cutting will simply rot Besides these two methods, I love division for multiplying my snake plant. Division is easiest and quickest method for multiplying your snake plant. For dividing snake plant, first take the plant out of its existing pot and gently knock off all the loose dirt and then carefully separate the pups with knife. You can keep two to three pups together or separate each individual plant into its own pot. Try to keep as many roots as possible with each pup. Or instead of soil, you can put these babies directly into the water like this plant. It is in water for 4 to 5 months now. It is growing steadily and an interesting thing is. Now a new pup is also coming out from here. Snake plants can grow in water well. Just keep the water clean and place them in area where they receive bright light. First time I am growing snake plant in water and I just love this method. From my experience I can say that snake plant growing in water requires less care than those planted in soil. That's all for today's video. I hope these tips help you to grow your snake plants faster and healthier. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then take care and happy gardening.